This episode of Taz I Help was brought to you by Lumosity. What's up guys, in today's video I thought I'd do something a little bit different and talk about all the tech news that happened in the last week uh, that stood out and interested me. So first up, Nintendo announced the 2DS, a non-3D flat version of the 3DS. At this point, I think Nintendo is just running out of ideas. The new 2DS will also play all the 3DS games, obviously just not in 3D. And the only thing different about it is it costs 130 bucks, so it's cheaper, it doesn't have 3D, and it's got a new flat design, which looks really, really awkward and doesn't look like you can fit in your pocket. Oh yeah, Nintendo also dropped the price of the Wii U to $300, like that's going to help their sales at all. Fun fact. Nintendo is selling more of the original Wii than the Wii U. That's bad. And next up, Samsung says they're going to be announcing their Galaxy Gear smartwatch at an event on September 4th. Samsung is beating Apple to the punch and they're going to go ahead and release their own smartwatch. The Galaxy Gear is going to run Android and they said it's going to have a non-flexible display so the screen's not going to be able to just wobble however you want it to, uh, which has been rumored. And they did say though this isn't for every consumer out there, it's just kind of like a test to throw out uh, and see how it does and see what the potential market for an actual smartwatch is. But either way, I'm excited to see what they announce and what it's going to look like. Now on to some Apple news, iOS 7 is rumored to be released on September 10th. If you watched my last video, you'll know that that's the same date that the new iPhone is supposed to be announced at their Apple event. Which if they do that, that'll mean it's the first time they've released a new iOS version the day of the event. Normally they wait till after uh, because they've got to get all the apps and stuff updated for it. Which the rumors could be a little bit confused and it could be the iOS 7 GM build, uh, which is the version that's fully ready to go uh, but only gets released for developers so they can update the apps and then later that version will be released to the public, which I think is more likely. If you watched my last video about the iPhone 5S rumors, there's said to be a gold iPhone 5S released at the event. Uh, well, there's also now a rumor saying that there's going to be a graphite or a gray version of the iPhone 5S also. So if the rumors are true, that means the iPhone 5S is going to come in four different colors. Let's hope those rumors are actually true. Also this week, we found out that Siri doesn't like Google Glass. Let me show you. So the voice command for Google Glass is OK Glass, and watch what happens when you say it to Siri. OK Glass. Stop trying to strap me to your forehead. Tie. It won't work. <laughs> uh, so that was funny. It actually says a few other things when you ask it that. Uh, try it for yourself. Uh, so there you go. Siri doesn't like Google Glass. Or actually Apple just doesn't like Google. Time Warner Cable released their Xbox app, which allows you to live stream 300 different channels straight to your Xbox. As of right now, you can access the on-demand TV shows and movies, but they say they are working on that with Microsoft now. And they also said if you are streaming live TV through your Xbox using the Time Warner Cable app, uh, it's not going to count against your data cap for the month, which is really cool, but still, Time Warner Cable, I hate you. Terrible, terrible internet, but I'm stuck with it. It's the best they have in my area. Also, really exciting news for the future, Nissan says that by 2020, they are going to have multiple self-driving cars out on the market. And they even said that these are actually going to be reasonably priced and not like crazy expensive. We'll see if that's actually true once they release them, but uh, that gives me hope for the future. If there's any like tech thing that I know is possible and they have out there right now that I can't have, it's a self-driving car, and I really want one. That would be amazing. Also, really good deal that happened this week. The Nexus 4 has dropped to a price of $200 off contract. That's the same price as most phones with a contract. That is a really, really good deal. And finally, my last story is pretty cool, but at the same time, really creepy. Researchers at the University of Washington made a major breakthrough in human-to-human -human brain interfaces. Using a non-invasive brain-to-brain setup, a researcher in one lab was able to send a signal from his brain to control movements of a second researcher in one lab on the other side of the campus. The way they did this demonstration was with a video game. The goal of the game was to fire a cannon and shoot down an enemy plane while avoiding friendly planes. On the other side of the campus, Andrea Stocko had the keyboard to execute those commands, but couldn't see the game itself. Uh, but using their brain-to-brain -brain interface, Rayo, the guy controlling his brain, imagined that he was using his right hand to click a space bar on a keyboard, and Stocko's right hand carried out the command without any conscious movement on his part. The way Stocko said it felt was like an involuntary twitch or like a nervous tick. So basically, he had something on his head, and a guy across campus I uh, used only his thoughts and the internet uh, to control uh, his brain to actually make his limbs move, which really was just a finger to press the space bar, but still, that's crazy. So there you go, there's some of the interesting tech stories that stood out to me this week. Uh, let me know if I missed any that you thought was really cool uh, in the comments down below. And before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video. Do you want to improve your brain performance and live a better life? Sounds intimidating, right? But any brain can get better and Lumosity makes it easy and fun with 
with games based on neuroscience. Lumosity is like your own personal trainer for your brain that lets you build your own customized training program to enhance your memory and attention. Plus, you get detailed summaries and stats to keep track of your progress and see where you need to improve. Over 40 million users have experienced Lumosity's breakthrough brain training. What are you waiting for? Start training with Lumosity right now and discover what your brain can do. If you want to check it out, you can go to lumosity.com slash ties that help and you'll get instant access uh, and it'll also help support my show. Again, the URL is lumosity.com slash ties I help. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button down below and actually let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this type of video. Do you want me to do more of this where I cover like the weekly tech news that was interesting to me or just like cover the weekly tech news in general? If you like it, maybe I'll make it a thing. Uh, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this, uh, more tech videos and stuff like that, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.